Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll actually get into Autodesk Revit Server. <clears throat> we'll learn about what it is, how it functions, and how to use it within the Revit environment. So what is Revit Server? <clears throat> Revit Server is an application that you can install on your workstation. Um, it's actually installed both once on the server <clears throat> and a, as an extension on your workstation. Once installed, it gives you the ability to do the work sharing capabilities of Revit not just on a LAN environment, but now on a wide area network environment. When we typically talk about Revit and work sharing, we're talking about <clears throat> multiple people in an office environment accessing their local models that save back and forth to a master central model that's located on the company server. That's fine and dandy if you have to work with it with it's a single office. <clears throat> but what if you have multiple offices? Maybe you have an office in Boston or uh, Bangalore or London and even Shanghai. How do you get all of the other people that are in the other offices across continents working and collaborating with a central model within that single domain company? It's not feasible until Revit Server came along. <clears throat> so Revit Server basically extends that capability in a WAN environment. How does it actually work? The way Revit Server works is you install the server software on as many servers as you need in as many offices as you need <clears throat> and they play different roles host accelerator and administrator host is one where it gives the master central model is held the accelerator is the servers that will cache the data and help push the data back and forth to the central model and to the workstations <clears throat> and the admin aspect of Revit server gives the web interface based communication back and forth for the CAD and slash BIM managers to work with those particular Revit servers. <clears throat> How does it work for the end user? You have a master central model placed on a server somewhere in the corporate office. Any updates that the end users click to say save to central get pushed to this master central model directly. Any information that's new will get sent to the local Revit servers that are acting as accelerators throughout the entire company. When an end user says save, any new updated local server accelerator cache data gets pushed directly to that local workstation so it's faster than having to pull the data from this master central all the way across to that workstation. <clears throat> when the end user says save to sa save locally it's just saving a local model if the end user says save to central it's actually put sending the data directly to central the central model and bypassing the local revit server accelerators <clears throat> therefore all the change data goes in one direction uh, new data gets sent in one direction and all the updated changes gets pushed distributed wise along all the other revit server accelerators when we look at Revit Server on the workstations, you'll when we get into the software, you'll see that there is a window <clears throat> that lets you know is Revit the application on the workstation connected to an accelerator Revit server. If it is, it gives a name. If not, it says no. You can give it the you can specify the name or the IP address and click connect to make sure it's connected. Now, even if you are if you lose communication between the accelerator <clears throat> and your workstation you can still save your change data back to the master central model it'll just be a lot slower and you'll have some hiccups with trying to get uh, opening up local central models from the local Revit accelerator if it's been set up this way on the Revit server administration console side you will see this web-based interface that says Autodesk Revit server administrator 2015 or 16 it will list the server or servers you have. 
it will list all the folders and all the central models that you have created and stored. And we'll get into this. <clears throat> uh, there are system requirements you need to abide by. There are pros and cons, which we'll discuss in another webcast. And back in Revit server, I'm going to close this model for now. <clears throat> if I go to collaborate, synchronize, manage connection to Revit server accelerator, this window will pop up and tell me the server is connected to the accelerator, which means that I can click open. And instead of clicking and looking for files here, you can scroll down, go to Revit server, select that server, select the folder, select the model, and you can open up last viewed, editable, all, or specified. This is no different than if you were opening up a central model um, on your workstation. You can also say create new local as well because that's the default. Okay. If you already have a local model open and saved from that central model, just click here and you can open up that model. <clears throat> and it will open up accordingly. And if you need to save, you save here locally and you need to save back to central, save here. So no other no difference. And if we look at the work sets, it's no different either. Okay. And that's it. That's a quick brief synopsis on Revit server, and thank you very much for watching my screencast. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.